Well, hello, my jazzy friends. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying safe and it's lovely to see you as always. Today is the start of a brand new series that I'm very, very excited about. I've been really into Stardew recently and I'm going to be doing a series of just beginner tips, very, very beginner stuff, like just starting playing the game. Because I think I have a couple of things that could probably help new players. Um, but yeah, today's video is basically just about how to get through a long old Stardew winter. Setting the scene, if you've been through the, the spring, summer, autumn, all that stuff, and you've been toddling along quite happily, and you get to your first day of winter, step outside, all your fall crops are dead, and you're like, oh, it's fine, I'm just going to toddle along to Pierre's and buy some winter seed. But then you get there and realise that he doesn't sell any. You might be at the point where you're thinking, what the hell am I going to do for an entire season now? So, hopefully this will be a helpful thing if you're at that stage. Winter in Stardew can be a little bit difficult to navigate, so if you're not sure how to get the most out of the winter season, or to be honest, what the hell to do in general, these are my tips from someone who really struggled in year one. So first off, and this is mostly applicable if you actually still have some time before you get into winter, so if you're kind of in the middle or nearing the end of fall and you've got a little bit of time to organise yourself, but you can still do these if you're kind of in the beginning stages of winter anyway, but get prepared. <laughs> the reason my first winter was so punishing was because I had no idea what I was in for. If you have animals, head down to Robin the Carpenter and get her to build you a silo. And also, if you can afford to as well, definitely go and grab heaters for your animals at Marnie's Ranch. If you want them to have any chance of producing anything throughout the winter season, when they can't get outside and kind of bask in the sunshine and all that fun stuff, then they've got to be fed and warm and therefore happy enough to actually give you something. Also, if you want any chance whatsoever of growing anything during winter, uh, you need to craft the winter seeds yourself. You should see these in the little crafting section of your inventory thing thing you know you know the section where you craft bits and bobs if they're not there though if you don't have the recipe yet that's because you haven't hit level seven foraging so again if you still have time to prepare head out to town pick up the veggies pick up the flowers you know the bits and bobs you see like lying around on the floor get your skill up there you can also get a higher foraging skill by cutting down trees and then of course once you hit level seven you will get that recipe to craft those winter seeds and then you'll have something at least to grow during winter. If you haven't prepared, if you are just in winter already and you haven't had a little bit of time to get organised, you can still try and complete the above steps. But aside of those, this is a really, really great time to focus on some other bits and bobs that you might have been putting off a little bit. So, for example, if you're one of those people like me who is a little bit guilty of completely ignoring your neighbours and everyone else in the town because you've spent the previous seasons just running around your farm and trying to get it to be the best possible and making money, then this is probably a good time to get a bit better acquainted. So go chat to your neighbours, go speak to people in the town, give them gifts if you're willing to spare anything and if you're actually interested in a friendship with any of them. Get your relationships up a little bit. And if it's something that interests you, you can even start deciding or thinking about who you might like to romance a little bit later on. The next thing I'd recommend doing is if you have a bunch of stuff saved up in chests, I know I did, that were all a little bit mishmash and disorganised, then go through and organise all your chests in a way that's very, very satisfying and very, very um, organised and easy to sift through so you know where everything is. And also, I haven't played through the game where Joja turns the community center into a warehouse yet so if that's you ignore this one but if not if you have opted to help out and fix it up then this is a good time as well while you're organizing your stuff to sift through the stuff that you may have accumulated through the rest of the year and see what could be put to good use in the community center i usually make a big old word document with two columns and the first column is stuff that the community center needs and the second is the stuff that i have and just kind of cross cross reference and see if there's anything that matches up um, and then also as well, within this, within like organising your chests, you can check if there's anything that Gunther might want for you to donate to the library. Next up, if you haven't been able to craft those winter seeds yet and you're still in winter and still working on getting that foraging level up, then there's really no better time to go and upgrade your hoe and your watering can. If you're not growing anything, then you can definitely spare those two to three days that it takes for them to get upgraded. Whereas in other seasons, I feel like going without 
a hoe and a water encounter two or three days can feel quite drastic. Like you're you're pretty actively using them. So definitely take those down, get them done. This is a perfect opportunity. Drop them over to, to Clint at the blacksmith and get that taken care of while you have a good chance. Now, the next two things are things that you've probably already done a fair bit of, and they may seem really obvious, but regardless, you can still go fishing and mining through the winter. The mines are unaffected completely by the season change. The winter was the time where I really had nothing but time and energy to go and get the mines finished and finally get to the bottom level. So if you've been putting off the mines or you just haven't finished them yet, winter is a really, really good time to just go and tackle them, get to the bottom, finish them off. And with fishing, just like in other seasons, there are some fish that are only available in certain seasons and certain times of year. So get some fishing done, maybe get some money going for your lack of crops to make up for them. And also you might get some fish during winter that you need for the bundles in the community center again. The other thing that is really still open to you during winter is collecting supplies. So if you've been thinking for a while that you really need to collect some wood and some stone and coal and whatever other bits and bobs because you want to upgrade your house or construct some farm buildings, Winter is a great time to just go and gather materials. You really don't have that many other pressures or other things to take care of. So it's a good time. Go and collect some stuff, figure out what you need for the upgrades and the, the buildings that you want and just just go to it. You know, you have so much time to gather materials to work towards those things. In future winters, you're probably going to be way more prepared and possibly even have the greenhouse, which means you'll still be able to grow stuff throughout the whole season. But for your first one, I think it can be difficult to know kind of where to spend your time. I think these are a good way to organise yourself and just make sure that you don't sleep through the whole season out of boredom or lack of direction. But anyway, hopefully some of these have helped you figure out what you're going to do with your time. I hope you enjoy your winter. Have a lovely wintry Stardew Christmas. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time.